If you're thinking of getting yourself one of these, watch this video first before you head out to your gun shop. Open air outdoors. If you're in the market for a brick action shotgun and you think they're all the same, it's just a hinge action, you're wrong. There are differences you should know about before you set out to make your purchase. But first, let me congratulate you. Because if you're interested in getting one of these, you need to get yourself one of these. Whether you're a sports shooter, upland birds, small game, waterfall, these things are absolutely fantastic i love them been shooting them my whole life this is arguably the most reliable action on any firearm out there but what's the difference between them all these are all single shot brick action shotgun isn't that all what it is well no it isn't you have choke tubes you have fixed choke you have hammerless hammered vented rib extractor ejector these are the things we're going to cover here today. Let me bring the camera down and we'll go over some of these details and help you decide what it is that will suit your need when you head out into the great outdoors. So where do we start? Well, let's pick one. Right, single shot, break action, simple operation gotta love it but what's different here let's let's pick one at random this particular model is a hammered gun what does that mean it's got a hammer so let's clear it right don't they all have a hammer absolutely but this one is called hammerless. Where's the hammer? It's not there. What's going on here? Of course there's a hammer. There's an internal mechanism and this is activated. There's different models obviously, but this is activated either when you open the, the gun, the hammer gets cocked or on closure the hammer gets cocked one or the other there's different models but there's no hammer to pull back therefore what do you have that's different is this right here the cross bolt safety if you take a, a shotgun that's got a hammer it has no safety per se the safety is simply the hammer is dropped now it's cocked, now it's dropped, basically that's how it is. That's the difference between hammer and hammerless. Is there an advantage? Not necessarily. I think it's a preference thing. Some people prefer it, some people don't care. I, I'll go either way, I really don't care. But that's basically what a hammered and a hammerless gun is. Let's look at something different here. Let's look at um, choke tubes. How's that? How about choke? This particular model has a fixed barrel in the sense that the choke cannot be modified. It is a full choke, actually not a modified choke, but it is what it is, which is right from the manufacturer and that's the way it stays. Well, what's the difference? Well, some shotguns have this right here called a choke tube so if i take this particular model it comes with a a wrench that you stick in there and i can thread out a choke there's the tube and right now i have a modified choke in this one right now so that's what the difference is now how about vented rib there is a vented rib and there's a non-vented 
Why? What's the difference? Well, you know in the summertime you got you're looking over the pavement of the road in a hot summer day and you have that hazy blur over the road this can form on top of your barrel when you've shot when you have fired consecutive shots and that barrel gets hot you can get that blurry effect that's what this vented rib does it disperses the heat so when you're looking down your sights your barrel is not all blurry. You're not looking through a blur. Does it matter? I have never found it to be an issue for me, but I don't necessarily shoot consecutive shots um, like a duck hunter would do. When I'm out hunting, I'm looking for small game or partridge. It's gonna be one, two, three. Very rare you go beyond three shots consecutively. And also, and it's the time of year where it's cold and I usually don't have that issue but it's something you may want to know about when you go out looking for a purchase what else can we cover here we have another one which is extractor versus ejector what is that extractor I have here I've hollowed out a bullet here for demonstration purposes so what I have, I'll load this up, I'll close it, All right, now when I open it, see that, there's a bullet, and I pull it out. That, in this, that right there is an extractor, versus that same hollowed out bullet. ejector that's the difference but it doesn't end there because some models such as this one here actually have is set up where you can go either way there's a little button right here so in the forward position when I open this it's an ejector the shell will fly out if I don't want that to happen if I want if I haven't shot and I'm ready to leave for example and I don't want the shell to fly out I pull that, that little button back I open it and now it's in its tractor simple as that nice feature to have everyone today I was just breaking out these things to clean them and I thought I'd share a few tips like that just to give some people some knowledge because every year as we enter the hunting season I usually put out a hunting video or two and I get individuals who watch my videos and they have some very good questions for me and it's always centered around these break action shotguns and small game hunting I appreciate the questions I love answering them and also I have a viewer that asked me last year if I can do a review video on this particular shotgun. Many of you are very observant and you see stuff. I have not forgotten you. It's just one of those things I haven't gotten around to it. Maybe this season I will do a review on this particular shotgun. This is a Russian shotgun. If uh, anybody's interested, shoot me a message down below and I'll take the time out on the, in the field and I'll discuss what this is all about everyone this is just a quick video to help you out here I hope you enjoyed it but if you want to see some more cool stuff like how to refinish an old shotgun click on the card at the end of this video it'll take you straight to it